sounds more like that. Hey everyone, so today's video is this gorgeous pink eye pink lip makeup tutorial kind of targeted towards a fairer skin obviously anyone can wear this makeup look it's just my favorite to wear when i don't have any fake tan on and i'm embracing the pastiness that is my natural skin color this is honestly one of my all-time favorite makeup looks i have ever 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 done like ever this and my 16th birthday one i think probably oh and my new year's eve one I don't know, they're not I love, but I think this is my absolute favourite ever. What is this? Go away, please. I feel like if you have green eyes especially, this pink is really going to make your green eyes pop. And the false lashes too just add something extra. I never wear false eyelashes and this is kind of dangerous because now I want to wear them like every single day. But yeah, if you'd like to see how I got this makeup, then please carry on watching. Ow, 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 ow. So to save time, I applied my foundation off camera and as you can see I've got some sexy tape on. I've got tape on to make sure that the lines of my eyeshadow are super precise. For eyeshadow today I'm going to be using my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia and the first shade I'm going in with is Burnt Orange. This is going to act as my transition shade. I would show you the palette but it would like mess up the focus and I'm in a rush so I'm going to be a level one BTEC YouTuber and just go straight in. <music> I really want to get my hands on the Huda Beauty palette that looks absolutely gorgeous. Taking it through my crease, I crown C139 tapered crease brush, washing it back in windshield wipe motions. Sometimes I just do this on a day where I want really natural minimal makeup because it just helps to add some definition and also too like eyeshadow is fun so it's just fun to put something on. I roll my eyes way too much it makes me look so like narcissistic in my videos. Ooh. I use this palette like every single day if I had to recommend one makeup thing to you it would be one of the nice ones palette. Next I'm going in with the shade Love Letter obviously because this is a pink inspired look. I'm taking this very lightly on the brush um, because this shade is very pigmented. I'm taking that back over the um oh which one was it? Burnt Orange shade. I think pink eye makeup looks on fair skin especially just are the most beautiful thing ever. They always make my green eyes pop like crazy. I was wearing pinky I, I was wearing pinky orange eyeshadow the other day whilst I was going to a party and I went to my friend Tapsy's house before and my friend Maisie was there and she was like, have you got contact lenses in? But it was just because the pink was making my eyes go like whoop. <laughs> Adding a little bit more pink. Just keep on blending, that's the key thing. Then I'm going to do the same thing onto the other side. Then through my crease, I'm going to take some of Venetian Red, which is like a more ready version of love letter and i'm just taking that through my crease on a zoeva 227 Lux soft definer this brush is a lot more tapered so it allows you to have more control over where you place the product to hate comments video because I think it would be really funny. I get literally some of the funniest hate comments ever. Like I sit on my laptop and laugh. <laughs> Now for my lid shade, I'm actually taking a Jeffree Star Skin Frost. This is King Tut and I'm taking it on the brush that came in the Anastasia kit, the sort of smaller end of it, and I'm placing that all over my lid. King Tut is literally one of the best things that has ever happened to me. Also highlighting my inner corner with that colour. Zoom out. Oh. Now I'm going to take 
my Zoeva. No, this is Crown. Um, C4. I don't know, it's all rubbed off. Um, this is basically the precision detail brush. It's like a pencil smudgy brush. And I'm gonna take Love Letter and Venetian Red and smoke that on my lower lash line. I personally love lining my waterline with an eyeliner, so I'm going to take the Rimmel Scandalize um, eyeliner in 001 black. Also adding that to my waterline, I find the easiest way to apply eyeliner to my waterline is to just close my eyes and do it, like it looks satanic, but it's really easy. my camera just decided to be a massive a-hole and stop recording rude i put eyeliner on my wash line and tight line now i'm just going back in making sure my eyeshadow is super blended because i don't want no harsh lines and i'm also gonna go in with this real techniques shading brush and kind of smoke the eyeliner into my lower lash line eyeshadow <laughs> Now I'm going to take my tape off, praying to God it's all even, sometimes it's like jaggedy. Ow. Oh. Mm. I just like pulled a layer of skin off. I forgot to stick it onto the back of my hand before I put it on my eyes, so it's really sticky. Okay, that's not bad. I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I'm just taking my beauty blender, which has got like remnants of some foundation on it, and bouncing it over the top to try and cover up the redness it left behind which would be good if you could see if i stopped holding this in front of it so <laughs> now i'm gonna powder my face using this this is brand new this is the l'oreal infallible matte powder it looks like a pretty good color for my pasty face right now um i've never used this before but a lot of my friends at school say they really enjoy it so i thought i'd give it to go it's very dusty <coughs> Got a snatch it. I've got a moustache. I really like it. Now I'm gonna take a Jeffree Star Skin Frost. This is in um, King Tut, but I'm actually gonna mix it. Oh, I've got like a brush hair at my nose. I'm gonna mix it with the white shade from the Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. It's the shade to lighten it up a bit because I have no fake tan on ATM. <laughs> Once again, taking the Makeup Revolution Contour Palette and just going like really lightly. Does anyone know how you can get rid of like these? Because I swear to God, they're so annoying. It just, it gets in the way of everything. Fun fact though, like I've got lots of like here, lots of, I have chunks of my hair like this, which actually aren't baby hairs. These like fell out because of stress when I was like unwell. So waiting for those to grow back is lots of fun. I used to have crazy thick hair. And it's a lot thinner now, but it's all growing back, so should be okay. Now I'm going to do eyebrows. So for eyebrows, as always, taking my Modern Renaissance palette and using Cypress Umber, which is the darkest brown shade, and filling them in. Today. So these are my
my lashes just with mascara on, you could totally leave it like how it is. But I just want to be a little bit extra today, so I'm going to go and put on some false lashes. So whilst I was off camera, I just applied my lashes and then also put some mascara on my low lash line. Now I'm going to go in with my Jeffree Star Blur Liquid Lip. This is in the shade Gemini and I'm just going to put that on my lips, obviously. You can never usually see me putting on lipstick because I've got such white girl lips that it's kind of difficult to show and get a good precise application at the same time because my mirror's like, but yeah, I'll try anyway. Thank you. 